Aloha family and friends. Mahalo for being here as we celebrate the life of one of the Uli Aloha Wainoli Our beloved mother, grandmother, great grandmother, great great grandmother, and team and friend. Thank you for your love, your consistency, prayers, and for your continued support. Grandma was a Jill of all trades. She would fish with and without crabs, and she would dive for both fish and hidden. She was a cook, a baker, a homemaker, a silk person, and more. From selling fish to Tupperware, Avon, and Amway, and working in various places, she always found a way to make ends meet. If Grandma wasn't fishing, she was home either cooking and cleaning or rearranging the house. And if she wasn't doing that, she would be somewhere reading, either a magazine or a book, especially romance novels, which would make my grandma's hair stand up. <laughs> grandma always had her nose in a book. I guess you could call her a Hawaiian girl. She had a love for country music, Find China and cookbook. And then did she have a collection of Find China, comics, and cookbooks? I don't know what she was like as a mother or as a wife. But as a grandmother, she was amazing. Here are some memories some of us grandchildren share. Grandma's cooking. Time takes the size of a baseball, steam bread, toast galore as she had the load of loads in her freezer. Crackers with butter and sugar, with cocoa, tea, and sometimes she would sneak us her coffee. Honey bobo, as we know it, aka flour dumping in milk, butter, and sugar. Water pancakes, fried fridge, and fried rice. Boy, that she would mix with her hands. Salted raw pillow strip on ice and more. We'd always wake up to the smell. The house is smelling um, of something animal. When we took over on a weekday, she would braid all of our hair in front of the house outside before going to school. And sometimes she had ribbons. Oftentimes she'd go to keep still because we'd either fall asleep or we wouldn't look still. And before we left to go to school, she'd always send us off with used to be or some kind of stuff. Besides taking us fishing, mostly at the pier at night, she taught us how to drive. And we drive from Billy to Vilo or back, and, and when it was time to return home. Or she would pull over in Volcano to get a cat nap and continue to drive. I guess that's why she taught us to drive. We were so happy that ever grandma would pick us up and take us to Vilo. We'd get out of the house we get out of the village and explore new things and places. The gas station. <laughs> but she didn't know. The mall and then we cruise Panayama. Oh, and the times that Grandpa didn't let us watch TV because it was static, she did. <laughs> but our favorite time in Hilo was when she'd take us to ice pond. She'd pack lunch and make sure we had clothes and a towel and take us there. And while we grab, guess what she was doing? Reading. And then she'd take a peek of us on there. And we were 